Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. Today, I'm excited to be sharing with you these three puzzles from the brand Flipsy Puzzles. So these are a series of puzzles and they're called Haunted Places and What Lurks Within and each one is 500 pieces. But the fun thing about these Flipsy puzzles is that they happen to be double-sided where one side of the puzzle is the image you see on the box, which is a pretty creepy kind of spooky looking image. And then the other side is a surprise mystery image, which you only get to reveal once you've put this side together. So I am definitely excited, but a little apprehensive as well and a bit scared as to what the mystery images might be. Um, and so Flipsy Puzzles did actually start out as a Kickstarter project, but now they're, they have their puzzles available on their website. So I'll be linking that as well as where you can find Flipsy Puzzles in the description box below. And they were very kind and sent me all three of the uh, double-sided uh, Haunted Places puzzles from their collection, as well as one of their puzzle boards. So the puzzle boards are not only used to do the puzzle on, but they also help you flip the puzzle over once you're finished. So let's take a closer look at all three puzzles. So let's take a closer look at the creepy artwork for all three of these puzzles. So the first one is the Haunted Farmhouse. And uh, like the name suggests, it is kind of this uh, creepy, haunted looking farmhouse or sort of old abandoned, rundown kind of very weathered barn, that sort of thing. I mean, I guess, yeah, barn, farmhouse, that sort of thing. But yes, it's looking pretty isolated and desolate and looks like it's been abandoned, that sort of thing. And yeah, very weathered. Um, and there's even like an old car body there and like a old windmill. And even the fence looks like it's seen better days with like these weathered fence posts and barbed wire. But yeah, it's got a very spooky atmosphere. Like the sky is like got this very evil looking storm, kind of pretty actually with the purple sky. But yeah, it looks uh, pretty intense and a bit, yeah, not somewhere I'd want to be hanging out, that's for sure. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, very like, very cool image and yeah, very creepy looking. And then the next one is the Haunted Castle. And again, this one's like, in some ways quite beautiful as well, but also very creepy. Like got this castle here with cracks through all the stonework, looks very sort of haunted and abandoned. Um, but we have these beautiful kind of autumn foliage or leaves here. But it's also just the sky, like the other one looks quite evil, like some sort of evil storm or evil presence is happening and lots of dark areas in the puzzle and shadows and stuff. Yeah, so very cool as well. Um, and lots of details in both of these actually, so it's pretty cool. And then the last one from the series is the haunted house, um, which yeah, definitely looks like a haunted house. Uh, so this one has, yeah, this, I guess kind of a beautiful old house, but it looks again, kind of a bit abandoned and like empty, maybe haunted and it uh, looks like it might be the dead of winter because we've got like this sort of bare tree, these branches, but they have a bit of snow or frost and even all the sort of grass leading like the driveway. It looks like it's got a bit of snow or frost on it. And it's a bit creepy actually because the dirt in the driveway, instead of just being brown, it looks almost a bit red or bloodied. <laughs> so it's a bit creepy. And there's like this creepy red door and and I don't know why, but I always find like children's sort of abandoned playground stuff a bit spooky so there's like this old swing set here and i feel like that adds the extra creep factor um, but yeah very very creepy image very cool as well and lots of detail in this one too um, so for this video i'm only gonna be doing one of these puzzles i wish i could do all three but i don't have that much time unfortunately so the one i've decided to do for this video is going to be uh, the Haunted Castle one. I think that one, I mean, they all look really cool, but I thought this would be a fun one to do. So I'm gonna let you know now that uh, I will be looking at the surprise image, but unfortunately uh, you only get to see my reaction of me looking at it. I can't actually show you the secret image. I can't spoil the surprise. I have been sworn to secrecy by Flipsy, um, but you'll definitely see my reaction to it and see if it really is scary or not. Um, yeah, so that, I think that'll be a fun, fun one to do. And then as for the other two, um, I'll actually be doing this one over on Instagram. So you should be able to see at least some of the posts for this one uh, when this video comes out. Again, I won't be showing you the surprise image. That is a secret. And then as for this one, uh, 
a friend of mine, Richard, or Piece by Piece Puzzler over on YouTube, recently did a video doing this one. Again, he did not spoil the surprise. So if you're interested in seeing this one being put together and his experience of it and what he thought of the his reaction to like the spooky image, you can uh, go check out his video. I'll pop the link to his video and his channel in the description box below. So um, next up, we will quickly take a look at the puzzle board, like the board that they use to flip the puzzles over and then we will take a closer look at the, where is it? The Haunted Castle puzzle and unbox it, look at the pieces and of course, put it together. Let's have a quick look at the puzzle board. So mine came in this pretty kind of big and but skinny or thin uh, black box and it's got the Flipsy Puzzles logo on the front. So let's open this up, maybe, <laughs> there we go. And yeah, it's just plain black on the inside. Um, and then we've got a few things in here. So we have the ever important moisture absorbing sachet. Um, we've got a card here, which is yeah, just one sided and it says Flipsy Puzzling Board and looks like it's got little picture instructions and some brief instructions. It says one puzzle, place your haunted place together on the red velvet puzzling surface. Two flip, use one of the black clips uh, to help keep your puzzle board closed as you flip it over. And then three surprise, Remove the clip, uh, then open the board on the surprise side to reveal who or what lurks within. So yeah, definitely handy to have that. And then I'm guessing this is our clip or clips, I guess. Okay, yep, this, we've got two clips here. Um, I'm not sure why we get two, because it sort of says only use one. So I'm not sure if one's a spare or can you use like one on one side and like maybe one on the other to make it extra secure. I'm not too sure, but I guess whatever you like, really. And then we have our board here and, oh yeah, and the box is uh, just plain black and nothing else, no text or anything there. Let's move that out of the way. So on this, ooh, okay, so on this part of the board, it's got the white Flipsy logo here and then just blank on the back. Um, okay, now I've got to figure out how to open this. All right, oh, okay. So on this side here, which I guess is the reverse, it says surprise side. So I guess after you flip it, you'll see this side and then that's the side you open to reveal the surprise image. So I guess we don't actually want that side. We want this side. Um, and I guess I should spin this around to face me. Um, yeah, and so then this is actually kind of divided, which is really interesting. So it's like two flaps. Um, and then, yeah, so this is the side you puzzle on. You wouldn't really want to puzzle on that side since it does have that split. But over on this side, we've got um, these sort of white frame markers. And I forgot to mention, this is a <laughs> very nice bright red velvet. It feels really, yeah, it feels really nice to touch unless you don't like velvet. but. Um, I think, yeah, it'd be really nice to puzzle on, um, probably keep your pieces like from sliding around too much. So that's kind of nice. And I guess even once you've finished with your flipsy puzzles, you could even do other puzzles, maybe a wooden puzzle doing that on here would probably be pretty nice. So yeah, just something to note. Um, but yeah, I think this would be really nice to puzzle on. And yeah, so we've got these markers here and it actually says landscape here. So I guess if you're doing the what haunted castle puzzle and the haunted farmhouse because they're both landscape you would do it this way but then it's got portrait here so I guess if you're doing the haunted house one which is a portrait image you would I guess do it this way and then I think once you've finished your puzzle you close up these flaps and then I'm guessing you well yeah according to the instructions you get your clip and then you clip this side I mean I guess you could clip this side as well because just to make it extra secure or yeah, I'm not too sure, but I guess you at least clip one of those sides and then yeah, flip it over and I guess depending which side, if you've got like landscape, you'd go this way or I guess portrait that way. But then yeah, it's, it's a surprise side. So you know you've got the correct side for revealing the surprise and then yeah, I guess you open it up. But I won't get into too much detail about that um, because I will show you how that all works when I go to do it myself after I've finished the puzzle and when I'm ready to reveal the surprise. So let's take a look at the box. Um, so it's quite a compact size, like it's sort of long and thin and 
it's even you know not very deep at all like it's quite skinny so yeah pretty like a nice small compact size great for storing and it feels pretty sturdy like it's you know pretty strong and it's even got a sort of matte linen finished surface so yeah it's a bit of like subtle texture and yeah it just feels really nice quality so the info on the front there's like quite a lot so we've got the whole image here and it's kind of nice they've got like some extra little leaves out here and I think a little moth there and a bit of the sort of grass there as well coming out so it's kind of a little cute little uh, add-on that they've done and the background of the box it's not just plain black I think it's actually sort of a very faded like light version of some of the leaves or part of the image so kind of adds a bit of I guess texture in the background without being like too in your face so it's sort of a nice little detail as well looks very well designed and then we've got a lot of text here so we've got uh, haunted places and what lurks within written here um, and then it's got dot 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 flip the puzzle if you dare then we've got here 500 double-sided surprise puzzle and then we've got the flipsy logo flipsy puzzles logo down here so let's check out the sides so this side here it's got the small image here and it says haunted castle so that's the name of the puzzle image Haunted Places and What Lurks Within, and then 500 Double-Sided Surprise Puzzle. And then what's on this end? Okay, so this end's got uh, like sort of the leaves and branches from the image, has the Flipsy logo. And then on this side, we've just got another sort of section of those leaves again from the image, which is kind of a nice touch. I guess if you had this side on display, it would look quite pretty. And then this side's got the Haunted Places and What Lurks Within text and then we've got the small image and then haunted castle the name of the image and 500 double-sided surprise puzzle so that's all of the sides so let's turn it over so we've got quite a bit of info on the back here as well and again kind of like the front the background is not just a plain color it's not just plain white but it's actually sort of a very faded uh, version of the image behind everything which is kind of a nice sort of subtle detail um, so we've got up here haunted places and what lurks within and then sort of going from this side to this side we've got the haunted castle and the image here um, and then it has flip over with a big red arrow and it sort of has like a mystery image like what could it be kind of thing so it says what lurks within with the big red question mark and then down here we've got 500 double-sided surprise puzzle we've got the flipsy logo and we've got a bit of info here as well it's got 500 pieces double-sided jigsaw puzzle approximate puzzle dimensions so we've got 48 by 34 centimeters and then we've got inches as well so it says 18.9 by 13.39 inches I'll pop the size on the screen as well just so you've got it there too and then we've got copyright flipsy puzzles 2021 and their web address and we've also got here follow us online at flipsy puzzles and it's got their Facebook and Instagram logo and then on this side we've got some other info so we've got a bit of a little blurb uh, so haunted places and what lurks within is a series of double-sided surprise jigsaw puzzles by flipsy puzzles each place in this series tells a compelling visual narrative that can only be experienced in full by completing the puzzle and flipping it over for a spine tingling reveal piece this puzzle together flip it over and then enter the haunted castle to see who or what lurks within so that sounds pretty interesting and then we've got this sort of little puzzle piece image here and then it says uh, puzzle features double-sided a surprise image on the flip side original artwork on both sides 500 pieces textured differently on each side and produced with I think it's Eska puzzle blue cardboard and from what I've heard that is quite a nice qual good quality uh, can't speak quite nice good quality uh, puzzle board it might even be what Ravensburger is made from I'm not too sure and then we just got like a sort of choking hazard warning and a little warning I guess not for kids age zero to three um, and a barcode and made in China so I guess let's open this up yep, there we go so inside the lid it's just plain white and then we've got here oh okay this is cool we've got our little bag of pieces and it's actually got a got them in like a ziploc bag so which we'll have to sort of cut open get access but yeah it means we can it's resealable so that's awesome um, and we'll have a closer look at these very soon and then oh okay so we've actually got some info around 
the sides of the box, which I'll get to in a sec, um, but we'll see what else is in here first. We've got one of those little moisture absorb do not eat baggies. So, you know, I guess kind of good, protect your pieces. And it looks like we've got a reference poster here too. So yeah, that's handy. Well, that's good. That's probably a decent size. I don't think it needs to be too, too big. This is only a 500 piece. So I think this is probably detailed enough for what we're gonna be doing. So yep, definitely we'll be using that. And then, yeah, so the inside of the box is white, but we've got some info on the sides. Um, so this one says, Esca Puzzle Blue Cardboard is world renowned for its premium quality standards made from 100% re recovered paper. Esca Puzzle Blue Board, oh, sorry, Blue Cardboard is produced in a way that minimizes the burden on our environment. For more information on Esca, visit www.esca.com. And then, oh, okay, and then here it's got the small images of the other two puzzles in this series, which is Haunted Farmhouse and Haunted House, Series 1, Haunted Castle, Haunted Farmhouse, Haunted House. And then, oh, each place has its own story, its own haunting, and you're invited to step inside. Explore our collection, and it's got their uh, website, www.flipsypuzzles.com. And then, oh, okay. And then, lots of information. <laughs> After piecing the Haunted Castle together and seeing what sorry seeing the surprise image on the flip side you will have the option of pulling the puzzle apart and starting again only this time piecing the surprise image together first if you're brave enough yeah that's a good idea actually so you yeah once you've revealed the surprise to yourself you can always try putting it together the surprise side first so it gives you a different option you know and a bit more play time as well so i think that's kind of cool um so i think we we'll take a close look at the pieces. I've poured out the pieces and I've got here the red velvet puzzle board since I'm gonna be using that very soon. Um, and yeah, straight away I can tell that they're a grid cut and they seem to have all the uh, sort of normal uh, piece shapes for a grid, grid cut. So I've actually already pulled them out since I always spend so much time rummaging for them. So I've got um, one here that has like the inverted or zero tabs. We've got uh, one that has one tab, we've got the sort of two tab piece, we've got the other variation of two tabs where it's got one on the top and the side, um, then we've got a three tab piece and we've also got a four tab and of course edge pieces as well. So yeah, all your sort of standard shapes, um, but these ones have their own little interesting style or characteristics about them, like some of the, uh, I don't know if you if we'd be able to see that okay, but some of the tabs are like quite like extended or ex uh, accentuated and some are like quite small and little so yeah kind of interesting so hopefully that means we're going to have less false fits or no false fits even so yeah so since we've got this piece um, here let's kind of have a closer look so the backing is a paper backing and normally i say i don't like paper backings but it makes complete sense here since we do have a surprise image on the back so that's what that is. And it's actually very different to the top side. Like it's a lot smoother and almost a bit, has a bit of sheen or gloss just because of how like the smooth paper that's used. But yeah, it feels extremely different to the top side. So definitely there won't be any mistaking it, which is good. And then the thickness is like a nice uh, medium thickness. Uh, yeah, and it feels like, yeah, pretty, pretty solid actually, pretty strong and sturdy. Um, yeah, definitely feels good to handle and feels very nice, uh, feels good quality. And then the top is a nice sort of linen finish feel. It's not, I guess it's fairly matte. I am picking up a teeny bit of sheen, but I think if I look at it, yeah, for the most part, it's more on the matte side. So yeah, hopefully we won't have too much shine or anything while completing the top side of the puzzle. Um, there might be some sheen on when we flip it over, of course. Um, although you're not going to see that, but I will. <laughs> so it doesn't matter too much. I'm sure I will still get the fright of my life. Um, and that's the important thing here. Um, but yeah, but it feels nice. has a very subtle sort of texture. So it's not as smooth as the reverse side, but it feels, yeah, it feels nice. Um, so yeah, I think these will be really great to puzzle with. Um, so speaking of which... Um, oh, and before I, yeah, actually before that, um, puzzle dust, I haven't really seen, like it looks pretty clean in the bottom of the box and even the bag didn't seem to really have much dust. There might be a little bit, but yeah, it seems pretty dust free. 
Um, and yeah, I haven't seen really any damaged pieces or nothing to, nothing of note. Um, everything seems pretty like in good condition, nice quality, so that's good. Um, but yes, yeah, so speaking of putting the puzzle together and puzzling, uh, let's quickly take a look at the image and how I'm going to put this together. I mean, it's only 500 pieces, so oh, there we go. I don't think we need to go too wild on strategy and overthink this too much. Um, looks like there's probably enough detail to do the, the edge first, so I guess I'll do that. And there are quite a few dark bits and pieces, but we've got this lovely bright kind of yellowy sky here, so I might be able to pull those pieces out and maybe even the sort of autumn leaves across the top. And I can probably pick out the castle and yeah, I guess and maybe even the grass might stand out, but I guess we'll just see how it goes. Um, Cause you know, obviously looking at a picture is one thing, but then when you pick up a piece, is it easy to figure out where it goes? Like, I'm not too sure. Like this one, I think is leaves maybe. So yeah, not a hundred percent sure, but you know, whereas this one definitely looks like autumn leaves. So yeah. All right, well, I think that is enough chatting. Um, so yeah, let's get into puzzling. I have finished the haunted castle puzzle and before I uh, flip it over and uh, scare myself silly, I thought we'd just have a quick chat about what my experience was like with the quality and putting it together. Um, so it was pretty fun to put together, but it actually took quite a bit of time. It was quite tricky and challenging. So for a 500 piece puzzle, I was quite surprised, but it took three hours and about five minutes to put together, including sorting the pieces. So yeah, that took quite a long time for a little 500 piece. Um, I'm not too bothered by that though. I thought that was actually pretty good like puzzle value. Like it's kind of nice sometimes when a smaller piece count takes a bit longer cause you feel like you're sort of getting more puzzle time for your 
puzzle dollars, I guess. Um, yeah, so that was kind of interesting. But yeah, I guess it was kind of tricky because the leaves and the grass and there's a lot of like shadowy dark bits. So they were actually pretty like difficult to try and figure out where pieces went. Um, and I think earlier on I was looking at the pieces saying, oh, like the tabs on the pieces look quite like they were an interesting shape. And so that will hopefully reduce the false fits. But there actually were still a few false fits, not too many, but enough that it would occasionally throw me off a little bit, especially in some of these darker sort of shadowy or very leafy areas. It tricked me a couple of times. So yeah, that was sort of just something to note, something interesting. I'm not too mad at it though. I got there in the end and still had fun putting it together. Um, and what else? Yeah, so as for like the piece quality, the pieces fit pretty nicely together. Um, like they hold fairly okay. Like you, you can pick up sections if you're sort of gentle. Um, so like they do sort of crumble a little bit, but yeah, the fit is still fairly nice. Um, and oh, there was like no puzzle dust at all. So very impressed with that. Um, and all the pieces were in really nice condition. And yeah, the surface, it's a little bit shiny here because of my extra lighting. But when I was puzzling, I didn't really have any too many issues with glare or sheen. It's a fairly kind of, for the most part, matte uh, finish on the pieces and has a bit of a sort of like linen finish kind of texture. So yeah, pretty nice. But yeah, overall like quite nice pieces to handle. Uh, they feel good, like they're a nice thickness and yeah, go together pretty nicely. And yeah, like I said, just a few false fits. But apart from that, everything was pretty nice. So I think you've probably waited long enough. Um, in a sec, I'm gonna uh, cover this up and flip it over and uh, I'm going to see what the image is, but you're not, you're gonna see my reaction. So I figured we'd flip it over together. So I've got here still the uh, side that we've already seen here. So, and the, it comes with two clips. So on the instructions, it just says to clip this side, but I figure like we might as well I guess clip both sides. So let's see if I can do this. All right. Okay. Th these seem pretty easy to use. I mean, they actually just come like this and you just sort of flip these around. Um, and let's ooh, like octopus arms here. Okay. And then I guess we just hold on tight and flip it over. Ooh. Okay, and yes, this says surprise. I'll show you in a sec, but anyway, I guess we can undo those. Ooh, I feel nervous. And then I can spin it towards me. And then down here it says surprise side. So you know that uh, if you've got this side, when I lift this up, that's going to be the spooky surprise side. Oh, okay, guys, I'm like kind of nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. <sighs> okay, all right. Oh my God. Okay. That's like pretty creepy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to, I might be having a few nightmares tonight. I might have to read some nice like bed. I need to look again. It's like, it's kind of, it's really creepy, but like, I need to like, I can't help it. Uh, it's really cool, but it is really creepy. Uh, oh, I, like I want to look because there's like a lot of detail in this, but it's really creepy guys. That's really cool. Not at all what I expected, but definitely um, I think something you would uh, find lurking within the haunted castle for sure. Okay, well, I definitely uh, recommend this if you are looking for a very fun and pretty creepy, spooky, terrifying uh, surprise on the other side of your puzzle. I would recommend one of these for sure. Well, that was definitely a very fun and spooky puzzling experience. I really enjoyed that. Well, that was, yeah, just a lot of fun and quite different to anything I've done before. I haven't done any sort of double-sided puzzles like this where there's like a surprise on one side. So yeah, I thought that was a really cool idea. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a spooky puzzle to do or just something a bit different and a bit more interesting than your regular kind of puzzle, then I would definitely check out the Haunted Places and What Lurks Within series from Flipsy. I think they're just really fun and just a yeah really interesting idea. And hopefully they might even uh, put out another series of puzzles, whether it's Haunted or maybe some other surprise. I think that would be really cool. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, Flipsy. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited to do the other two in the series as well. Um, so 
Uh, as you're seeing this video, I think some of the Instagram posts for this puzzle should be up. So yeah, I'll be doing the haunted farmhouse over on Instagram. So go check that out if you're interested. Again, I won't be revealing the surprise, but I might be showing my reaction to it. And yeah, and if you're interested in seeing the haunted house one, again, don't forget to check out Richard over at Piece by Piece Puzzler on YouTube. I'll pop his video and his channel in the description box below. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of these flipsy haunted places puzzles. Do you like scary puzzles or puzzles that have a surprise? And let us know what was the scariest or most kind of surprising or interesting puzzle that you've ever done. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.